guys, Jessie Fair from JessieFair.com. A lot of you requested that I do a day in the life video. And so for one full day, I recorded my family's life. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I get up at 5 a.m. every single morning um, before my family is awake, simply because of the fact that I am not a morning person. And because I love my family, I get up at 5 a.m. every single weekday in order to have coffee and to be able to read my Bible and have prayer time without being interrupted and just so I can overall get into a better mood. Um, and usually I have doggy snuggles with our puppy Isabel, who we call Belle, named after the Princess Belle um, from Beauty and the Beast. Morning. Morning. And then at 6 a.m., my boys will get up um, so they can start having their breakfast and so they can get ready for school. And my boys are not always in the best mood when they wake up. My oldest has ADHD, and I get asked a lot um, about the medication that he takes. Um, it is called Barilla. Um, it is a homeopathic uh, medication, so it is available without a prescription. As well as I also give all three of my kids Sambucus. They are elderberry gummies. Um, even my husband, I will take these in order to boost up our immune system. Typical breakfast in our house is very simple. We are not breakfast people, so we usually have cereal, toast, English muffins, oatmeal, or like yogurt parfaits, something very simple um, and easy to make in the morning and quick to eat. And my amazing husband has not jumped on board uh, the get on the camera train, so he um, will not be appearing in this video, but his truck is. Um, he usually leaves around 6 30 in the morning um, and he owns his own home remodeling company and um, that trailer is his mobile workshop. Good morning. Good morning. Snuggles. Is this snuggle time bell? Yes. So what are you supposed to be doing right now Colin? What? What are you supposed to be doing right now? I'm Brushing your teeth? <laughs> My boys, um, in order to get ready for school, they obviously have to eat their breakfast and they have to brush their teeth, get dressed, and they have to make their beds in the morning. Um, of course, they're boys, so their their version of making beds and cleaning up their room is uh, slightly different than uh, my version. Go to school? Yes. Why are you so grumpy? Time. Whoa. <laughs> Don't forget your coat, Colin. And we have no streetlights in our neighborhood, so it is super, super dark, which is Careful both boys, awesome and running. can kind of be a little challenging, especially when it comes to going down to the bus stop early in the morning. What, baby? Oh, I hear Papa. <laughs> I hear Papa's truck. After I've got my boys on the bus, I come back in the house and I work out. I actually wear my workout clothes down to the bus stop. So I just change out or I change out of my pajamas into my workout clothes and then I get my workout in. Um, I work out using the body boss method. I will include a link in the description of this video to this method. It is really awesome. I absolutely love it. And I am not going to show you my workout because, well, that's just not fun. And then once I'm done working out, I will usually try to pick up and clean up the kitchen from um, any mess that has been left over from either the night before or the morning. Um, and yes, our kitchen cabinets are in desperate need of being repainted. Um, I actually will never ever again paint cabinets. Um, I will just refinish them some other way because it's very, very challenging to keep the paint on. And then after I've picked up the kitchen, I will usually jump in the shower and get myself ready for the day. And usually get myself ready for the day before my daughter before my daughter gets up to get her ready for school. All right, so this is my eye cream. Um, this is what I put on under my regular um, face uh, moisturizer. I absolutely love these three. Good morning. Can you say good morning? Charlotte is our like only happy child when it comes <laughs> to waking up in the morning. <laughs> is it good? I love you. And then after I've taken my shower and I've gotten Charlotte her breakfast and her situated, I will usually go awesome. and make my bed and pick up my room. Um, and also too, whenever I curl my hair, my hair does actually not hold curl very well. I have super straight hair naturally. Um, I'm not sure. I'm like, I literally blow dry my hair and can walk out the door. I don't even own a straightener. My hair is just straight. Um, but it also does not hold a curl very well. So typically after I've curled my hair for the day, I will leave it. I will leave it in the tight curls um, while I'm making my bed and kind of doing other little things. And then I will shake it out um, later on. Well, we just made it to Charlotte's preschool just in time because carpool is just now starting. Say good morning. Good morning. Can you use that? Uh -huh. Okay. I love you, baby. And I have a clip. Yes, you do.
So I am getting ready to now go to Aldi to do my family's weekly, weekly grocery shopping. Um, back when we were um, on the debt-free journey, my family and I, we are 100% debt-free now, which includes the mortgage. Um, but back when we were um, still paying off debt, we shopped. Um, I did grocery shopping exclusively with cash. I don't anymore do that quite as often. Um, only whenever really our budget needs sort of a reset. So I'm not shopping with cash today, um, but I do have my grocery list, I have my meal plan, um, and I have my budget. So I'm going to work very hard to make sure that I stick to that grocery budget today at Aldi. Um, so will be um, groceries for the week for my family of five. Aldi is my absolute favorite place to go grocery shopping. It has completely saved my family's budget, especially when we were on the debt-free journey and we were growing our family. We had three kids in three and a half years. And so our budget uh, got smacked pretty hard and Aldi was a lifesaver and still is. I managed to stick to my grocery budget this week. It was $125 was my grocery budget, so I did come slightly under budget. And I also always scan in my grocery receipts from Aldi into Fetch Rewards. It's an app. I will include a link in the description of this video. Um, it's a rewards app that you can build up rewards in order to cash out for gift cards. So then I come home from grocery shopping um, and have to put away all of the groceries home from grocery shopping and now I'm going to put all the groceries up so I'm completely out of breath. And then after I'm done putting away all of my groceries, I start preparing dinner for that night. We were having slow cooker chicken tortilla soup and so I'm just preparing all of the veggies and all of the things to go into the slow cooker um, for dinner this evening. And then if you follow me on Instagram, you have more than likely seen where I make homemade chicken and beef broth from scratch in my crock pot and I save all of my veggie scraps. So all I do is any veggie scraps that I have, including stems and all, I put in a bag, um, in a big Ziploc bag and store them in my freezer. So then when it's time to make my homemade stock, I have them ready to go and then I can just pop them in the crock pot with the bones. And then after that, it is time for me to finally get some work done. Um, that includes editing videos, writing blog posts, responding to emails, and um, working with some of my students within my Real Life Money Plan course. And then I will typically work until it's time for lunch. And our main staple in our household for lunch is usually leftovers. Everyone in my house, including my children, will usually have leftovers for lunch. Um, so yes, that does mean that I actually pack my kids' leftovers in their lunchbox for their lunch. I am back in a carpool getting ready to pick up my daughter Charlotte from preschool. Uh, and so I always take this time since I'm like stuck in the car um, to read whatever book I'm currently reading, which this is Discipline by Dr. Ray. It's been a very good book so far. Um, it's a little dated, the material, but it's uh, been good so far. So hey, we just got little Miss Charlotte from school. <laughs> so yep, she is. About to come home. So we're still at school. We haven't gotten snapped in yet. The yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And I eat my feet. You ate your what? Um my um um my face. You ate your face? <laughs> yeah. Well that's interesting. Did you eat your lunch at least? Yes? Okay, good. I'm glad you ate your lunch. Say so we're home in our messy garage. Our basement flooded back in October, so you several months ago, and uh, it's still not put back together yet, so our garage is just full of everything that did not get ruined. Our septic tank backed up and flooded our, um, our finished basement and laundry room, which unfortunately uh, meant that we uh, lost a lot of my kids' toys and favorite things, but everything that was salvageable has been moved into the garage. and. That's just where it's been at for now. And now we are getting ready. Where are you, Charlotte? And <laughs> now we're getting ready to go in the house. Get Charlotte her you after school you snack. See me? You see me? They see you. Say hi. hi. I'm about to do I do it. You're about to 100. I don't know. She's about to jump to 100 maybe. Um, so, but she's about to get her snack and let her watch a little bit of TV before we have to get her brothers at the bus stop. Well, I'm getting ready to go down to the bus stop to get my boys. I'm currently in my husband's uh, big mammoth jacket and uh, his, uh, his beanie. Um, 
<laughs> Psycho dogs. Um, but I'm about to go pick up my boys from the bus stop and then we're going to have snack time, their homework time, um, then dinner, and then my boys will be getting ready to go to Trail Life on, well, every other Monday night they have Trail Life, which is kind of like a Boy Scouts uh, thing that they do at our church. So we'll be having that. And then after my boys get home from school and come off the bus, we usually have an after school snack for them so and then we get school? started on doing homework. So um, and I work with all three of my children at the dining room right table um, in order to Good. do all of their homework and kind of get everything situated, especially um, for tonight because my boys have trail life and so that's an extra cooking activity which usually on monday tuesdays and wednesdays we have some form of extra cooking activity so um we would try to do homework as soon as um, my kids are done with their afternoon snack um before dinner and before anything else so then that way it doesn't get lost in the shuffle and then usually around 5, 5.30, my amazing, wonderful husband, who's still refusing to be on camera, comes home um, in order so he can be home in time to be able to take my boys to their trail life meeting, as well as be home in time for dinner. Um, and then, of course, our dinner this night was um, slow cooker chicken tortilla soup. It is super amazing. And yes, my kids do eat it because it is very, very good. Where are you guys going? To trail life. And then once my boys leave for trail life, I will start packing my kids their lunches for the evening and kind of winding down the kitchen and getting Charlotte into bed. I keep this here so then that way I can kind of come up with some um, lunch ideas um, for my kids. Um, this just sort of helps me whenever I'm just like really, truly not um, able to think of what I want to make. Um, this kind of gives me some ideas um, to make for my kids. I'm making everyone's lunches. It's just pretty basic. It's um, a yogurt squeezy. It is chocolate hummus um, and it's pretzels with the chocolate hummus. My kids absolutely love chocolate hummus. We usually have this as an after school snack, um, but we actually have a lot of this um, that is in need of being used up before it goes bad. So they're actually going to take this for lunch. Um, one of the reasons I love hummus for my kids is that it's really high in protein, especially for my boys um, because they're at school for so long. And then this is just some dried fruit. Um, my kids can be very hit or miss with this stuff. Like some days they love it, some days they don't. So hopefully they will eat it. Um, both my daughter and my middle son are getting a whole apple. And my oldest is getting two oranges because he has braces and he cannot bite into um, a whole apple. It has to be cut. And unfortunately, when you cut the apples, they turn brown. And I have yet to be successful at keeping the apples from turning brown. I've tried like the apple juice trick and the apple cider vinegar trick and... It didn't work out so well. So if you have a trick that works for keeping sliced apples from turning brown, I would love to hear about it. So then that way I can uh, put that into practice. Um, and then I'm about to get my coffee maker set up um, on delay brew for tomorrow morning. And then I just set it to delay brew and it will go off at 4.57 in the morning and I will have fresh coffee when I get up at 5 a.m. And then after Charlotte is in bed and the lunches are all made and coffee is ready and the kitchen is clean, I then just have a little bit of me time, which usually includes a cup of tea um, and a book, whatever book it is that I'm reading. Um, this book was The Next Right Thing by Emily Freeman, which was a fantastic book. Um, and so this is actually the last thing that I have uh, recorded for the day. Um, like I said, my husband was not a fan of being on camera, but after um, the boys got home from Trail Life, we got them ready for bed. They went to bed and then my husband and I just spent um, the rest of the evening together. I usually go to bed between 9.30 and 10 o'clock since I get up at 5 a.m. I hope you guys enjoyed this peek into um, our lives and let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more like it.